morning, everybody. Uh, my name is John O'Field here with Siler Design Solutions. And uh, what we're going to cover here today is uh, how to uh, do uh, basically your model text in Revit on a curved surface. So typically, um, you know, curved surfaces and model text has really been uh, kind of an issue to do unless you set it up uh, couple different ways and today we're going to cover the easiest method on how to uh, set up model text uh, for your curved surfaces within Revit. So as you see here we've got a little um, demo here of a, a curved wall here and we've got our uh, 3D model text here on the uh, wall as well and if we take a look at this in plan we can actually see that this is a a curved wall along with our model text here um, showing that it can be done. So in order to do that, I'm going to close out this uh, particular model here and here's typically what our model text looks like on a straight wall. But then when you go apply it to a curved surface, it looks like this. Now sometimes you can get it to appear here on like a face plane or um, a, some sort of uh, face of an object, but it doesn't necessarily wrap or um, fix itself to a curved surface. It's because it's got just a point of uh, connection uh, to just a either a face or a, a work, a work plane. So um, how we need to go about that is to actually create a family uh, to uh, get around this. So. In, uh, in order to do that, uh, we'll go through that process as well. But typically, when you go up to your annotate tab, um, you know, you're looking for that particular uh, text value. But it's actually here within your architectural under the model uh, location. And we see here that it says model text. So you can put in your model text, and then you can select OK. And then once you go to try to apply this, it's either trying to find uh, a face value um, as we see uh, for this. So in a 3D view, it's kind of difficult. So some of the best type of views would be either your elevation section or plan, depending on what you're trying to apply it to. So if we were to go into like our south elevation and we selected this model text tool again, we could either, you know, use a specific name uh, work plane if you had that set up, um, a plane, uh, or use a line as well. So then once it's done, then you can come in here and start placing that. Well, we notice on that curved surface, not all of that particular uh, 3D text comes through. So to combat this issue, what we need to do is actually go set up a family. So that family then we'll go up to our file menu tab and we'll select new and we'll create a family based on uh, what we're needing here. So uh, what I like using, which is pretty much the easiest, um, is actually a model, a uh, generic model family. But we're, we are going to use a generic uh, model with the wall based. So you can see here we've got several different types and if I come in here and uh, select that by list, we can see that we've got several different types in here. So if you use generic model, just note that it may not attach itself to a host, uh, like a wall or anything of that nature. And if you're not using a wall, you may want to use uh, whatever particular type of family uh, that is uh, going to work with that particular object that you're trying to attach it to. So um, now we've, uh, got that available here, uh, we can take a look at uh, creating our uh, wall model text uh, for that curved surface. So I'm just going to select that generic model wall based uh, family here. And once that opens up, you're going to see we are here uh, um, in the uh, reference level here in our browser. And so uh, once we get that open, we can actually start to uh, work with this. Now, what I like doing is automatically go into the elevations here and selecting placement side. And what this will do is allow us to be able to 
uh, attach that model text to that placement side of that wall. Now, yes, we saw in that reference level, this is a uh, straight wall. Now, there is no way to uh, make this wall curved. It's already input into this family. Now, there are other adaptive type uh, families that you can go in and create, but it takes a lot more time to set that up. Um, so we're just going with the easiest method here right now. So what we're going to do here is work in the placement side. And then uh, what we need to do is just come back over to our Create tab up here in our ribbon. And from here, we're going to select Model Text. So that Model Text, it could be one word, but the uh, word will not want to wrap to the curved surface. So what we'll do here is we'll actually create a singular letter um, at a time for each family and uh, then input that in here. So what we'll do here is we'll put in uh, an R for Revit. We'll go ahead and place that. Notice that it comes in with its particular size. So we'll have to go into our properties and change this for whatever size that we're looking to do. So notice that this is uh, Arial at six inch. Uh, we can duplicate this and we just call this two foot, or, well, two foot, not two inch. And we'll select okay. Then we'll come in and we'll change that size as well. You can come in and change the font, however that's needed to look. So once we do that, we can see that, that uh, our uh, letter has been um, altered and we can also adjust the depth if we want to here in the properties as we see this is only six inches deep now what i like doing is going ahead and just setting this up and if we take a, a look here at the 3d value um, or the view we can see that it is hosting to that particular wall now you can come in you can add additional parameters for height you know, location uh, across the, the wall and things like that. So you can get that nice even height for all letters across the board if you want. But we're just doing a, a quick low down uh, version of that here today. So once you're done with that, you could load this into the project, but it's easier if we go ahead and save this family. That way we can then uh, replicate and uh, do what we need to with the uh, alterations of this uh, particular lettering um, for the model itself. So I'm just going to do a quick file, save as, and we'll just save this family as letter R, and we'll put this out on our desktop real quick, and we'll select save. Then what we can do is go ahead and select load into our project. So now notice how we've got this R that follows that curved surface. I'll zoom in here, see how it's starting to follow, and we can see how that is following that curved surface of that wall. So I'm going to go ahead and place that here on this wall and then go back over into our placement side of our family. Now I'm just going to change out this letter. Now you can just simply double click on this or you can edit as well. But when I go ahead and replace that with the letter E, I'm just going to do a quick save as as well here and we'll just call this E and whoops, there we go. All right, so now we'll hit save and we can load this into the project as well. So once we get done with this, now I'm just gonna do um, all the letters for the uh, word Revit and I'll come in and show you where this is also located because we are bringing this family in, but we haven't really defined uh, location of where this is located and how we can come in and use this later on as well. So if we come back over to the placement uh, family itself and just double click on this, we can change that to another letter here. And what I recommend is just doing maybe the entire alphabet, having all of the numbers, you know, any other uh, particular type of um, symbology that you need and have that saved out to your library. That way you can have it for future reference as well. So then I'll just do a quick save as again here. We'll just call this family I. And then we will save that and load this into the project as well. So notice here that 
it's not uh, it doesn't really have a defined height or anything it's just because we haven't put that uh, parameter in into that um, family so we'll go back we'll check on this here and we'll do the V you notice I'm just trying to place it as much center on this uh, reference line as much as possible here that way it comes in on that cursor uh, point as well and uh, then we can uh, easily move that just a little bit better there we'll save this as the uh, uh, letter V and we'll load this into our project and yes I know I haven't spelled Revit correctly yet so we'll get that adjusted here in just a second so we'll look at that placement side of that family one more time. We'll change this to the letter T and we'll uh, leave that as is and then we'll do a quick save as. So you could literally just save each of those iterations and just keep loading into the project, but they're not going to have any particular name value, which may be hard to uh, tell the difference from. And so that's why we're doing this save as and loading each of those and notice that they're very small uh, family uh, file sizes as well so it, it's not going to take up a whole lot of extra memory if you have these saved into your template or, or project as well so uh, now we'll save this as the letter T here and we'll get that saved and load this into the project okay so now I'm going to swap the I and the V around here. All right, so now we have the uh, word Revit here, and we are in the uh, south view still. But if we get into our 3D view, we notice that the word Revit is now hosted to that curved surface or that curved wall. And that is how we can go about creating curved model text for a curve well um, model text for a curved surface and notice this is your typical model text right here that's going straight through that curved surface and then right here we can see that each of those model text families have been applied to that curved surface so now this is just a wall of course but if we were to uh, create like a uh, curved uh, mass or something of that nature um, something that's different that's not a wall we would actually have to go in we'll go in looking for those new family types and we would look for uh, whatever type of generic model um, based on that type of uh, object that we, we are looking to apply that curved uh, model text to so We've got our curve text inside um, Revit right now, and we have applied it to that curved surface. With that, we'll have to uh, come back later and take a look at um, where is this information coming from? So if I grab this model text, yes, it tells me, you know, it's that particular letter, uh, it's at this elevation, this level, and so on and so forth, but can I come back up here to our architecture tab and select model text and, and reapply that no because this model text tool actually wants to recreate another new type of model text so it would just be applying yet another piece of model text and it would only want to apply itself to a flat surface as we see here on the right hand side of the screen so where is this stuff located well what when we created this family we created it under generic model so here under your project browser under families this is where we're going to go into our generic model location and we can see where we have each of these letters populated along with some extra uh, items that i have within this particular template that i've been using so do i just left click and just drag this out here now you actually have to expand that out then you can grab that letter and then once you hit that surface you can then reapply those particular model text pieces 
and apply that to that surface. And you can actually see that it wants to find only that curved surface or that flat surface. So you can actually utilize that on multiple surfaces, but it's nice that it actually follows the flow of that curved uh, wall right there. All right, so how else can we uh, go in and adjust this? Now, if we were to go into that family, and I'll just grab this here real quick, and let's just type out the word Revit. And let's go ahead and try to center this up a little bit. And I'll just do a quick save as so it doesn't get uh, lost with the other um, uh, families that we have. We'll just call this Revit. And we'll save that as well. All right, let's load this into the project and see when I grab that and place that on a curved surface. Now, if we go back into our 3D view, see how it still kind of meshes into that wall there. It doesn't give us the full um, value of that depth of that model text. So it, it kind of eats into that wall surface there. That's where you actually need to do it a singular letter, number, symbol, uh, whatever you're creating. Um, unless you got small small words and that curve may not be as big, then it may work out for you. Um, but if we go into our uh, floor plan, uh, this is where we're gonna have to change the value of our view range in order to be able to see this just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna change this up to about 15 feet there. And now we can see that that model text has been applied and see this is that word Revit right there and see how it got uh, itself placed into the wall a little bit. Not that we couldn't see the full 3D aspect of that word, but it pushes itself into that wall. So it's trying to find basically that center line, which is that um, uh, work plane uh, that it's finding there. So this is the original uh, model text that we use when we were the architectural uh, uh, tab there. We selected model text, replaced it. It found itself all the way through that piece of uh, curved wall. This is uh, the family that we created. It pushes itself slightly into that curved wall. And then these are the letters um, that we see as well. Now, I may not see all of them. I just may have to bump up that uh, view range a little bit to see the rest of those. But once we get into that 3D view here, we can actually see how our singular Re uh, Revit model text families have been applied to that wall. They don't uh, dig into the wall itself. They are applied to that uh, wall face and uh, we're able to see that. So uh, with that, this is kind of a, a short little uh, webinar, but it uh, can help uh, resolve some of those issues about applying uh, 3D model text to your curved surfaces. I'll open this up for any questions that we may have right now. If I see anybody that has any uh, questions. Great. All right. Thank you, Mark. So. Um, yeah, today's uh, webinar is just fairly short here uh, that we see. We'll have this recorded so you can uh, go back and reference this if, uh, if you need to. Uh, but this has been uh, an issue for you know, m uh, many people over the uh, last few, uh, several versions of, of Revit anyways, applying this model text to a curved surface. This is really the quickest, easiest way to uh, resolve that issue uh, just by creating a simple uh, wall-based uh, generic model family and then you can uh, adjust those as needed yeah you could always go back into these families uh, as well and apply you know materials to it you can go in and uh, change the alignment um, what type of text it is the visibility how it's seen is it you know, front, plat, uh, front, back, plan, left, right, course, medium, fine. Uh, throughout there, if it has any identity data, if 
uh, you're running uh, like schedules based off this uh, if you wanted to populate with certain uh, filters and things like that so um, you, you could go a lot more into depth I know we created just a basic generic little um, model text family but this uh, helps uh, get that issue out of the way uh, for that particular item there so yeah see I mean it's still got all the same parameters as if it would out in the project itself um, but if we see that uh, we can still add that information here and um, set that up all right so um, just wanted to say thank you to everybody today for attending